Hi, I'm Bridget, and today I'd like to talk about taking pictures of the Northern Lights with just a selfie um, stand and your iPhone. We just came back from Alaska, and everyone up there was bringing huge amounts of really expensive equ um, camera equipment, big tripods, big lenses. Before we left, we did some research, and we realized none of the cameras that we had were going to do what we needed. We needed all kinds of shutter changes and, st and stops and things that our little bit older cameras just weren't going to do. So we'd pretty much given up on getting very good pictures. When we got up to Alaska, some people up there told us about an app that came on our iPhone and all we needed to do was um, put the little camera on a selfie stand or selfie tripod, this is just an adjustable one, or a large um, tripod with a with a selfie head on it and we can get some really great pictures. Um, the app's already downloaded onto my cell phone so I'm going to download the app onto my iPad that way you can see it better on the screen and you can see how it works. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to log into the App Store. Okay, after searching for Northern Lights we come up with Northern Lights Photo Taker. A few other programs came up that were my aurora that fo forecast northern lights or whatever but this is the only one that will come up that is for taking pictures of the northern lights so you want to download this program it costs 99 cents um, I already bought it on my phone so it's free here on mine and I'm going to download it once the program's downloaded it'll say open and now you're going to have the full screen your options down here are weak moderate, custom, and strong. And um, we, because like I said, the lights were um, pretty mild when we were in Alaska, we used the week. You want to have your iPad, your phone, whatever you're taking the picture with, in something that's not going to move. So that's why we put it in the little selfie stand, uh, but you also can put it on a tripod. You're going to hit the button, and then don't touch it. And basically, it's going to take several open exposure pictures. Um, in this case, there. now we're not looking at the northern lights right now, so I'm not going to get much of a picture. Um, but um, I will, as soon as this video is done, show you some of the pictures that we took. This is a super easy to use, super easy to download, and fun program, and we got some terrific pictures, so I really recommend it. 